Hello traders, FS Pepcoletta here. Today is Tuesday, July 16th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the US dollar CAD, I'm definitely still looking at this first move down as a wave A. I still think this move up is a wave B. I still think eventually it's going to go down and make a wave C of wave B, which is most likely an ABC crescent to this last move up. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I'm still looking at this move down right here as a potential wave A. I actually still think this is likely already found a top for the wave B. Now maybe it will go up and make another high, maybe not. I'm definitely leaning towards the fact that this is a 1, this is a 2, and that it's likely to go down and eventually make a wave 3, a wave 4, and a wave 5 of wave C, which should be a wave C of wave B. So, heading down to the daily time frame. Daily time frame, you have to realize that the dollar cat has been pretty much as sideways as sideways gets on the daily time frame. Very, very, very sideways market. But I still think that this is likely a wave one. I think this is likely a wave two. And I still think there's a pretty good sense that eventually this is going to go down in a wave three. So keeping that in mind, taking it down to the four hour time frame, we do have Canadian CPI inflation data coming out today. So we definitely got to keep an eye on this. I see a few possibilities. I mean, I definitely am looking at this move up right here as possibly a crescent to this move down. I think this is likely actually an A, a B, and we still are likely in a wave C. I would expect to see a Fibonacci bounce. So I'm actually wondering if today's Canadian news may actually cause it to go up. Then if it bounces from a Fib level, goes down and breaks struts, so that's going to be the sort I'm looking for. If it doesn't do that, then it just keeps on going up, then fine. We'll just keep on looking for longs on sort of time frames. Going down to the one hour time frame. To me, this actually looks like impulsive down. It looks like one, two, three waves up with a higher high. I think this is either a running flat ABC correction, which would be a, means that this move down would make a higher high than the wave A before it turned back up, or it's possibly an expanding wave C, which means that it would make a lower low before it turns up. So, like I said, we do have Canadian news today, so make sure you pay attention to these Canadian pairs. The trend is up on all the higher time frames for like the daily time frame down. So primarily, you should definitely, definitely be looking for longs. If it's a running flat, like I said, it will make a higher high than the wave A, so definitely keep that in mind. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my website if you'd like to get access to my swing trade setups and my daily live Zoom meetings. As always, thank you and happy trading.